back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. I hope you guys are well and having a lovely one whenever you're watching this. In today's video, I am going to be styling my ultra mini Uggs, which I am currently obsessed with. If you follow me over on TikTok or Instagram, you may have seen them way too many times, <laughs> but I literally am living in them. I am so, so glad I got my hands on them. I do want to say that the ones that I'm going to link down below are where I got them from, but they were not that price. So I'm going to try and link alternatives because over on Farfetch, it seems over the last like two weeks or so, they have gone from £170 for what they, I bought them for, which was about £20 more than what they are online. And they have now risen to around £370 pounds which actually blows my mind that that has happened because of how much they're selling out and also that they're allowed to do that I just don't I don't know I don't know how it works but I yeah that is very that is a lot of money that is not what you guys should be spending on mini Uggs I feel like they will come back in stock in certain places I know all soul do them and they keep coming back around in office and things like that so I'm gonna leave links to around five different sites that I can find them on that I know do them regularly and restock them and I'll try and find like direct links to them as well if you guys are on the hunt for them and I'll also try and keep my eyes peeled and then if you follow me over on Instagram on the day that I kind of like refresh these pages I'll also try and leave links over there as quick as I can or in my weekly vlogs and things like that but I yeah got mine on Farfetch and went true to size everyone was saying don't go true to size size up and I then realized back in the day back in like year seven I had a pair and they definitely do stretch I find personally for me because when you wear them they do stretch a little bit so I personally feel like going true to size is the right thing to do I have friends that have done true to size and some that have gone a size up so it's quite difficult to know, but I, yeah, I'm definitely in between sizes from like a half, four and four, and I went just for a four. So yeah, that's just a little bit of information behind them before I get into the styling and the outfits. But hopefully this video works as a little bit of inspo for those pieces in your own wardrobes that you might have. And if you've got them or you're looking to invest in them or you're, you've asked for them for Christmas or anything like that, then hopefully this works as a little bit of inspo for those kind of outfits. So for the first look, one of my favorite ways I've been wearing them at the moment is just styling around like an all neutral outfit. So I feel like with any of the colors of the mini Uggs that are out there, you could go for like any neutral cream or any neutral black look and then kind of tie in the colors with accessories. So I do this a lot, which you'll notice with a lot of these outfits is I get like a tan bag or a tan like scarf or something to kind of go with the chestnut color that I've got in the ultra mini Uggs and I feel like it kind of brings the pieces together. I do this a lot with my accessories just in general with a lot of my outfits is that if I am struggling on a way to wear like a shoe then I'll kind of tie the bag or the scarf or the hat around that piece and I tend to do that a lot or I tend to do it with a coat or something like that to have as like the main kind of focus point and colours of an outfit. So this one for me was kind of getting super cuddled up with a roll neck, a teddy blazer and scarf and being super cuddled in all those like neutrals and then having the kind of tan pieces stand out mainly for an everyday cosy winter look. For the next three outfits, I actually styled the same tan coat. I am obsessed with this coat. Honestly, someone like I just I just love it I was gonna say someone take it off me but no don't because I absolutely live in it I love that it works for every day this coat but also for evenings over any kind of dressy looks that you might have it works so nicely for that as well which is why I've been loving it so much but styling here just black leggings leg warmers cozy knit that I'm actually in at the moment and then like I was saying I've tied in the coat with the Uggs and then kind of got that scarf for like an added bit of texture and the black leggings so I've kind of gone for a free colour rule here but gone for a very cosy comfortable look and I love styling leggings and Uggs together right now and I find that my leg warmers kind of make it a little bit more cosy and also tie in with more of those cream pieces in my wardrobe so you could definitely style this without the leg warmers just with ankle socks or if you want your ankles kind of covered then I go for some like sports socks or anything like that but I personally find that this kind of ties in nicely with the knit and the scarf and things like that but I do love styling mini Uggs with leggings which you'll see at the end in the last look and I just think it's like a really cosy way of being super comfortable layered up even having like jeans on with this outfit and then just having having the leggings on as like a thermal piece underneath is a really good way of layering up in the winter months as well. And then next up, styling the coat and the Uggs as like 
pieces that kind of work together and then around neutral pieces in my wardrobe I love my fake leather trousers in the autumn and winter months especially for those colder days I tend to put thermals on underneath them and I find they're very like water resistant although the Uggs are not <laughs> the trousers are so for like other outfits on rainy days they are my go-to and then styling with just like a classic black graphic tee and black cross body bag just to kind of tie in the black details of the outfit that I've used but also having the coat to kind of tie in with the Uggs again you could do this with any coat in your wardrobe you don't have to do it with a color that would like coincide with the Uggs I don't believe because I've also styled this look with my fake leather jacket and I think I've included that in this video hopefully but I've also styled and worn this out a lot with my bomber and I've layered up with like lots of different kind of coats that I have that I feel like I can layer out with, with different kind of brown knits and even like an orange and pink knit I really love kind of layering up with this outfit and with the trousers and with the Uggs so I feel like there is lots of ways you can style it but just for like a two color rule this is one of the ways that I'm loving doing it with the tan pieces in my wardrobe then next up again with the coat but doing a very kind of like casual dress down look with these ribbed flares and really fluffy roll neck knit and I've got layers on underneath this this was something that I wore last Sunday and I just layered up with this beige scarf I'm gonna leave similar to this down below because unfortunately this is a couple of years old but I've managed to track down a few similar so it won't be the exact one but I'll label everything that's similar so you guys can kind of pick and tell because I know some of you were like that's not the correct scarf in my recent video so I just want to like flag that some of them aren't but I'll always put similar if it's a similar one if unfortunately it's an old piece that I've had for a while like these flares as well I've had them for years but they are just so comfy and I love mini Uggs and flares I love them with black flares and like oversized kind of cuddly knits and any kind of slouch coat this also looks really great if you've got any of those like neutral kind of black slouch coats or you've got a trench coat and you're layering up with like a graphic kind of hoodie or anything like that is a really nice way of kind of taking this for a very casual everyday snuggled up Sunday outfit. Okay sorry my battery dies so if the camera's move position that is why but for the next outfit again styling with more neutrals but adding a little bit more texture to the look with this striped knit. I love a striped knit. I have two in my wardrobe that I've had for a while. This one is actually new though and it is so soft it's got this beautiful kind of like funnel sleeve effect to it and I just love the details on this it is so gorgeous and I feel like it then adds a little bit more something to an outfit in the autumn winter months especially because you tend to be so layered up and I really that's one of the things that I struggle with in autumn and winter is being so layered up that you can't actually show off your outfit or your t-shirt and then having these like great classic knits that have a bit more something something that work really nice with those neutral pieces for me is a really easy way of kind of chucking them on for every day so styling the fake leather trousers and knit with just that black slouch coat and then again just allowing the Uggs to kind of stand out and be the focus point of this look and just going with all those neutrals as a very kind of easy chuck on look for every day so talking of all new neutrals and like I said with my fake leather jacket here is an outfit that I wore to the pub last week I actually took a hot water bottle underneath my jacket and did add a hoodie <laughs> later on in the evening because I underestimated how cold it was but I love an outfit like this for evenings with friends that are really casual and you want to be comfortable or any kind of errand running and heading into town and things like that I love my fake leather jacket for that especially going into London and shopping I actually get too hot especially on the underground crowned so my fake leather jacket for me is something that I always kind of take with me and have as like it's easy layer that I can chuck on and then again just allowing the Uggs to kind of stand out with this outfit because I just start around all those neutral pieces again which I seem to be doing a lot of but I just love kind of styling it this way in my wardrobe next up styling with some color I feel like if you guys watch my videos you will know I love adding pops of color to my look so it's actually quite surprising that I've done so many neutral outfits in this video but I love pops of pink I love pops of orange I love greens and blues in my autumn winter wardrobe and pink for me is an out like an outfit a color <laughs> that I gravitate towards a lot and I know it's not everyone's cup of tea but I feel like if you've got a color in your wardrobe that you love styling with those more neutral pieces in your wardrobe will really allow that piece to kind of like stand out and also just add like a little bit more something to the like winter outfits that we've got because I feel like it's so easy styling lots 
lots of like neutrals and beiges and tans this time of year and kind of layering up because most coats that I see on the high street are these like beiges and browns and blacks and I feel like I always want to invest in those pieces because I know they're going to work with everything, even colour. So I feel like that makes it super easy to then style those like really nice bright knits and beanies. And I've just kind of used the different pinks that I have with the beanie and the scarf and the knit being all different shades and just layered up with those brown pieces. And then gone for the kind of brown slouch coat to kind of tie in with the Uggs here with this look. But I just love adding colour to my wardrobe like this. And I feel like scarves and hats are a really nice way of doing that. So if you don't have mainly any kind of like pops of colour knits in your wardrobe and you kind of just want to invest in like one piece or two piece, a beanie and a scarf is the best way to do that. You can just add on a pop of colour beanie with any neutral outfit and it just like brings it to life. I love like the electric blue Arquette ones that they've got. They've got these like bright reds. And if you don't fo follow Chloe Hayward already, I mean, I'm sure most of you do. She's one of my best friends and she does it so well. She always has this like pop of color beanie or like electric blue hat and amazing scarves and always looks stunning but always brings those outfits to life with those pops of color which I absolutely love. Next up is styling the Uggs with classic Levi blue jeans. These are my capsule wardrobe blue jeans throughout the seasons and I love them in the autumn winter months because they're just so comfortable and I can actually layer them up with my thermals which I've been doing a lot and I love and I've got my fluffy little socks on here in these outfits with the Uggs to be super cozy but styling here a very classic hoodie and slouch coat combo you can do this with any color that you might have in your wardrobe and I've just done it with my gray hoodie and slouch coat here just to kind of tie in with the like blue jeans because I really like grays and blues together I feel like they work quite nicely but I feel like if you've got any of those slouch coats or even tailored coats they're a little bit more dressy grab your favorite hoodie and then just chuck the tailored coat on over the top and it literally creates an instant kind of very put together casual everyday outfit which I love doing I do this so much with my looks and styling again with classic blue jeans because I feel like we've all got that in our wardrobe and then just again letting the Uggs kind of do their thing stand out and I have actually styled here with a tan bag to kind of tie those pieces together but you could just do them with any kind of crossbody bag that you have or shoulder bag you have without it kind of tying in I feel like I'd probably go for like a neutral cream or even like a black little shoulder bag and potentially then like black sunnies on my head if I felt like I needed to and it was a nice day and that kind of thing but yeah just a very casual like everyday outfit that I'm loving with the Uggs. Then next up the Zara Gilet I love this and I know that it's currently not in in stock so I'm gonna try and find similar but I do wear this a lot so I feel like I had to chuck this outfit in here because it is something that I wear on repeat right now I get really hot <laughs> in autumn and winter I feel like for those of you out there that also have the same experience as I do like I get like out and about and I am really warm and too warm a lot of the time in knits and coats so a gilet like this that is super snuggly and then styling with roll necks and thermals under the jeans and having the Uggs is a way that I really like styling just a lot of my winter pieces and looks right now because then I know that I'm kind of not going to get too overly hot if I'm running errands or shopping or going out for hot chocolate and catch ups with friends and that kind of thing I absolutely love this gilet and I love how the brown kind of shielding kind of details to it really tie in with the Uggs and I feel like it's a very kind of cozy way of styling them and then I've kind of picked up on the creams in this look with adding the beanie to the outfit as well like I said I feel like accessories can really nicely kind of like tie in those pieces together so you could even add like a beige or tan scarf or if you had the more kind of like sage Uggs you could add a little beanie that's a bit more of that sagey colour or add more khaki kind of like scarves or pieces to kind of pick up on the green tones within them I feel like there's lots of different ways you can just elevate any outfit with those cozy accessories as well then next up chucking in here I feel like I want to say this is more of an autumnal outfit but like I said I do get very warm and I have worn this a few times on the colder days that we're having right now in December so it really depends I guess how you guys like to wear things in your wardrobe but I did want to chuck in an outfit here showing like leg warmers and the Uggs and then wearing I was wearing a little black skirt on underneath and a shirt and rib knit vest and then layering up with a blazer you could do this as like an all neutral outfit you could add a slouch coat you could add a oversized hoodie or you could do a roll neck jumper dress uh, and like add a belt to it there is lots of different ways you could definitely style like leg warmers and uggs together I personally just have these pieces in my wardrobe and love them and I wanted to add a little bit of color to the look very subtly with this blazer coat which is super super 
like cozy and warm because it's this like wool material which is lovely but I love the leg warmers and Uggs yeah definitely gives me like 80s or 90s for me like growing up it reminds me of leg warmers because I used to wear them in year six <laughs> so it definitely brings me back but I do absolutely love how they look with the ultra mini Uggs and for me this is an outfit that I think is definitely a love it or hate it thing for a lot of people but I personally love doing like the bare legs with the leg warmers and Uggs and it's a way of kind of dressing with any skirts that you have any like oversized cuddly knits any rib knit vests that you might have and then you can layer up with any of those tailored coats slouch coats bombers whatever you've got in your wardrobe as well Next up, styling them for a very cosy, cuddly outfit with this amazing, fluffy, snuggly coat, which if you've watched my Christmas Day outfits or that's coming soon, I've styled it a few ways in that video as well. But just styling with a Zara tracksuit here and the leg warmers as a very cosy Sunday outfit, adding the scarf as like an extra kind of snuggled up layer and wore this last Sunday to go and actually get ice cream on the beach. Does anyone else do that? I always like... It's either hot chocolate or ice cream, but there's a little spot that me and Jay walk to and I always get really, really cuddled up and then just go for ice cream in winter because I feel like ice cream is just great. So that's what I tend to do. But this outfit is definitely my Sunday cuddled up look that I love. It's very, very cozy and this coat is just heaven. So I'm going to leave a link down below. It's just amazing. It's literally like being hugged in a duvet when you're out and about. So really recommend if you're looking and like looking to invest I guess and trying to find one that's like very cozy and very very thick and good quality then really recommend this one. Next up a kind of casual everyday outfit that I am loving going for my classic dad jeans and grey pieces. I'm really enjoying my grey knit and blazer combo and then I would layer this up with a slouch coat seeing as now it's literally just dropped in temperature but I love this as like an everyday outfit and I love layering up my blazers in the autumn winter months. It's one of my favourite ways to start them because I then like going into like restaurants or if I'm going for meetings being able to like take off my coat but still have the blazer on which I love and it kind of acts as like another layer to any outfit especially for even like girls nights date nights any kind of special events that you might have or any even like Christmas parties that you guys might have adding a blazer on under any coat that you wear or a fake leather jacket over the top or even fake leather jacket then slouch coat I feel like for me it's my go-to of staying super snuggly and warm in the winter months so this is just one of those ways I really layer up and I've kind of just styled these more neutral kind of tones like the greys and the blacks and the blues together and again just allowed the Uggs to kind of be that main focus point of the outfit around those neutral tones and like classic casual pieces in my wardrobe. And then last outfit I wanted to share as a little bit of inspo is this active wear set. This is from We Are Another Version. I love their seamless pieces. They are such incredible quality and I love the fit and feel of them. And this one I love and live in at the moment because I'm wearing a lot of neutrals currently and like tan pieces and I feel like they all really complement each other which is always really nice with a look. So I started here with my trench coat but again it may layer up with a blazer underneath here with the little active wear set as like an everyday kind of errand running look and I love how the Uggs look without leg warmers without high socks as like kind of ankle ankles I was gonna say ankle socks but with the ankles showing a little bit I really like how that looks I tend to style a lot of my black leggings with my ankles out a little bit with the Uggs and like an oversized black puffer jacket or any kind of puffer jacket that I have and then I layer up with like beanies and scarves for like a really classic casual everyday look and I feel like you can do this with any kind of active wear set that you have that you wear for every day in your wardrobes too but for me this is just one of my favorite ways of wearing it right now and then potentially I would probably layer up with this knit knit too or maybe a tan knit to kind of tie in with all those kind of beiges and tan pieces to the outfit but yeah that is it for the video and the looks everything will be linked down below and similars will be down below if I can't find the direct links to pieces and things like that but I would love to know which look was your favorite and I really hope it works as a little bit of inspo if you have them or you're about to get them and that kind of thing and if there is any videos you guys want to see over here then as always please let me know down in the comments I love your feedback I love hearing what you guys want to see I always add it to my list and I will always try and get round to doing them so yeah it really means a lot and if you are enjoying the videos then I would love if you guys would subscribe it really means a lot and I will see you guys in the next video have a lovely one in the meantime and I'll see you soon Mwah. lots of love